Oh, wait, what is that back there? Oh, oh no, oh, that's, that's, that's not her. It. That's no. not it. Well, what do you think? Oh. Do you think this might help? It might. It might um, help with something. It will. Uh, we need it to help with snakes and reptiles. That's just for ants. That oh, that's might not, not help. Oh, oh okay. hey, Bob's here. Bob's oh, here. oh, hey. <laughs> hey, we are excited. Why are we looking for stuff under the sink? Well, because today we are headed to Allen Wood with Around the Valley with Dave and Stephanie. We're going to Clyde's Reptile Land. We're going to be looking for reptiles, maybe looking for snakes, hopefully from, you know, afar with some nice thick glass in between. Uh, you know, you're like five foot four. Yeah. I think there are snakes that would be about three of you. Oh, okay. From a distance, I'm okay with that, maybe. Well, we are heading out. We'll see you around the valley at Clyde's Reptile Land in Allenwood. WGRC's Around the Valley with Dave and Stephanie is sponsored by Zook Septic Services, serving central Pennsylvania. Contact them for inspections, repairs, and system maintenance needs at 570-837-1466 or at zookseptic.com. Hey, you're watching Around the Valley with Dave and Stephanie, and we have arrived. We got a little music in the background. You're feeling it, aren't you? I am. I love this. You seem very <laughs> excited right now. I, you know, I'm excited to be able to get into the accredited zoo here that is literally in our backyard that I've driven by and just thought it was this place that you just stop by and you see creepy crawly things from a distance that are slimy. But, you know, as more I've read about this, it seems like it's going to be pretty neat. I am. I'm pretty pumped about this. Well, we are at Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land in Allenwood, PA. Let's go inside and see if we can find Clyde. All right, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Clyde. Hey, I bet that's the guy we're looking for. Clyde, how are you? Good, good. We're Dave and Stephanie from WTRC. Hi. There we go. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Stephanie, I believe we're gonna get some hands-on as well. Well, and this is my first time being here, so I'm right. super pumped to be able to uh, see well, from a distance <laughs> well, through you'll glass. Do, you'll not only do it from a distance, you'll do it up close. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clyde, uh, before we take a tour of uh, reptile land here in, in Allenwood, uh, tell us a little bit about the history. How did you even get involved in what What was the determining factor that said, hey, I want to open a zoo? Let me get rid of this if I may. Um, well, in uh, when I was a kid, probably 12 years old, I became interested in reptiles. And I think I knew within a year or two that I wanted to build my own zoo. And uh, I never could convince my most of my teachers where I went to high school that I was really going to do it. But I had a couple that stood by me and believed in it. And uh, I went to the Air Force, and in 1964 I came out of the Air Force, found this piece of property with the help of my parents who were looking for property while I was still in Greenland. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we started in, too naive to realize it's the wrong place to build a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> but after 58 years, I guess we're here to stay. Well, I know many folks have, have come through these doors and the, they've seen the animals that, that you have here. Uh, we're excited to, to see what you got and um, why don't we go ahead and, and uh, take a tour and see what's here. Absolutely. Be my right. guest. Let's go. This direction. All right. Okay. So now this one, uh, this came from Louisiana. Uh, yes. Uh, what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? The shape of the snout on most crocodiles, not all species, but most of them, is much narrower, whereas the alligator has kind of a broad, shovel-like snout. And secondly, and probably more importantly, the fourth tooth back on the lower jaw of a crocodile sticks out. There's a little notch on the upper jaw, sticks out over the uh, notch. So this big guy over here is about 14 feet long, I think is what Clyde was telling us. And he weighs about 600 pounds. And uh, he is sitting there underneath a sun lamp because it's a little chilly out. We don't blame him for that. And I noticed though, his tail feather is sitting in the water. He's just chilling there. This is an anaconda. 
Honda, which is a giant water boa from uh, the Amazonian region of South America. What are their names? Uh, well, they don't call each other by name, and they so don't? we don't. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, actually, the truth is, the truth is, many of our keepers do label them with names. I never believed in it much. But, I mean, uh, it's not like, well, did you feed Sally today? No, I fed Sandra. <laughs> I need to make sure that Sally gets fed. They have numbers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> What's the primary focus of what the zoo does? I would say in our case, the primary focus is education. Um, a lot of zoos, bigger zoos, can uh, and do contribute uh, very heavily to conservation. And uh, some zoos have breeding programs of endangered species with the idea that they're assurance colonies that uh, they can be reintroduced to the wild, repatriated, uh, at some time in the future. We're going to let um, uh, David uh, feed and we do it holding the cricket with the forceps because otherwise the, the crickets will probably escape and, and be all over the place. But here you can see And periodically we dust the crickets with calcium and vitamin powders to ensure that they're getting uh, a complete and healthy diet. TV, Facebook, uh, a little bit of everything. So he's a boa constrictor. Okay. Uh, there is all sorts of morphs of them in the pet trade. There's lots of subspecies. He's just a boa constrictor, uh, which is both his common and scientific name. Okay. So he doesn't really constrict. He does. Yeah. He, he constricts. Yeah. So that's how he. Uh, that's how he would kill his food. He would squeeze it to death. Uh, but we're not food. We're so, not, no, 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 no. People are never food for snakes. I mean, he's not nearly big enough to even think of us as food. The only way that would happen is if you were playing with rats earlier and smelled like a rat. My rule of thumb for everybody is um, he won't bite you unless you bite him. Like, he doesn't bite him. Yeah, so he's not going to bite you back. <laughs> okay, well, in a COVID world, this is about the right thing <laughs> to stay from him. So, you know, we're good. <laughs> All right, All right. I, 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 but, but hold on. Don't just run at me with him. He's very hefty, so he is very dense. Okay. Because they're really strong. There's yes. lots and lots of muscles in it. Okay. 
But he doesn't have ears, so, so you what can yell at him. What's the best way to have him come climb on me? Come climb on you, just grab his back hand. Ah! <laughs> and then you can put him around your neck. Look at this, look at this. And there you go. <laughs> and just let him go his way. He's not gonna do anything. Um, there are boreals, so he does like to be up on your neck. And <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh. I mean, if, if, <laughs> run away, run away. No. Okay. Um, you can so always just hold his neck. He would be, okay, I could do that. He yeah. would be a, um, got like a mustache. lovely accessory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do with my cat, Flynn. I'm like, oh, hi, buddy. You're a good kitty. You're a good little snakey, aren't you? Yes. Yes. And you, you've eaten recently. So you're good. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're moving. <laughs> okay. You can feel he's gonna hold on, and that's just so he doesn't fall. Okay. He doesn't have arms and legs, so he just yeah. It's just that touch, so you don't drop okay. him. Oh, he's cuddling. That's what he's doing. He's cuddling. Look at that. Yes. It's I okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. Around the valley exit. Okay. Where are you going to build yeah. the exit? Yeah. Um, and you're like. Walk this way a little bit. Well, he's bringing us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're good there. I don't know that we've ever been so close, Dave. <laughs> this has uh, been a very uh, scaly and uh, slimy kind of day, but being out here at Clyde's has been a lot of fun. Yeah, if you'd like to make a trip out to Allenwood to Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land and meet Gazer for yourself, we certainly encourage you to do that. Be sure to catch the contact information at the end of Around the Valley and you can make your way here to Clyde's Reptile Land. Do you think Gazer's going to let us go? I don't know, but I'm still shaken. <laughs> but, uh, but he is cute and I think people should come meet him. Yes, so come on out to uh, Clyde's uh, Reptile Land, Allen, Pennsylvania, Meat Gazer, a lot of other great animals here. They do a great job taking care of these animals and allowing you to get an up close and look with these creepy crawlies. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you out in town next time on Around the Valley. Oh, yeah, right.